crafters this is Raquel with paints and glitter and today I am just sharing a few projects that I have made and completed this week I wanted to come along and share a couple of cards um, and a mini album now these I wanted to share as part of the Saturday morning makes uh, Jill Norwood finally got her name right <laughs> who is Greenwood girl cards on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken, um, has uh, a series of videos and you can join in. Um, this is only my second time joining because I had um, not been able to film a video recently with the cards that I had been making. So today I want to share uh, what I use. I um, had purchased this collection of papers from crafters uh, or craft consortium and I thought they were absolutely darling it's called wildflower meadow and I had gotten the clear stamps to go along with it but they also had let me see here if I can find here we go they also put out a newer line of papers which I don't have and they coordinated with these stamps called the herbarium um, now I happen to grow my own herbs and I thought these stamps would be perfect and I thought they also matched with the papers that I already had. So yeah, I went, went ahead and picked those up. And so aside from that, I've used some, oh goodness, I've used quite a few dies. So if you have any questions, just let me know because I don't have them presently in front of me. I thought I had all of them and I don't. And another stamp that I've used is this oldie but goodie house mouse stamp called walking in the rain so i've used that one also and okay so let me start with the postcard i did make a little postcard with the walking in the rain stamp i thought it was so adorable and i had not yet used it i don't believe no i don't think i've ever used that before so i stamped it onto the strathmore imperial water color it's 140 pound cold press paper but it's also a postcard so I thought that was really cute and I did watercolor it and I think I'm going to go back in and add a little bit of pencil work just to add more depth to that but there's that and then I made this card using the stamps I showed you um, what I did here was that I stamped the images I watercolored them and then I went back and added a little bit of shadow here and there with alcohol markers. And I also added, oh, a little bit of shine um, to this one. And then I used some of my Tim Holtz um, Sizzix dies to make the little plants. And again, from that same paper collection, I cut out the, uh, this paper collection, I cut out these three little tags, if you will, and added the twine there. And then on the background there, that is a Spellbinders die, I believe. Um, and so is this one here. It's supposed to make a label, but I used it as if it were a tabletop. And then I stamped the scissors here and this uh, sentiment, which says, friends are like flowers, they brighten your day. And at the moment, I can't even remember <laughs> Uh, I think that's a tonic set, if I'm not mistaken. I, I really can't remember. Um, it's been a few days. And then that's the inside. Just finished it off like, like so. And then moving on to the mini album. For this, I did use Tonic Studios dies and Sizzix dies. And I had recently shown a card that I made with this die set here the thinlets this was my last video also that i shared the saturday morning makes i had used this die set to make a shaker on a card that went in the mail so i can't show it to you but i decided to use it again here i made it with vellum um, and then i wrote ball and mason because that's what the paper line has the image of is that little um, mason jar or as we call them ball jars um, so I cut out a bunch of little flowers here again using um, the same die set I believe yes I used the same die set and then I topped it off with a flower from Renee Bouquets also a piece of lace from Renee Bouquets 
and then the little corner photo corners I added there and then as you can tell there's little gems everywhere I've added them on almost I think every single page and those are the little diamond dots that are really popular right now so here's the binding of the book this was a labor of love let me tell you because I had to string every single one of those beads in between the pages but I love the way that it looks and then on the back it looks like this it's got the um, the cord here and I added some beads and I'm going to be adding also a little dragonfly. I just didn't get around to that. And there's more photo corners there and then that same type of lace. So let me show you the first page. I used this doily die that I had also shown in a haul uh, from Sizzix. And then here's that same watering can. So here you see it in the green, and over here I just did it in light blues and grays. Another little snippet of lace, a piece of ephemera from, or cut apart from the paper collection. That little bitty butterfly is from Rene Bouquet's. And then here's a little tag also made with the same paper collection. I also used a doily die down here that I had, uh, it came with this collection here. This paper, by the way, is from Tonic Studios. It's this beautiful white paper um, with a damask style um, embossing on it and it's pearlescent. So that just opens like that. And then I added the little diamond dots all on the edge of the page. And here, what you're going to see in this little book is that I purposely made it with a white space on one side because here's where I intend on putting pictures. Um, and I'm going to be putting pictures of my garden in here as it progresses so it may not all be from one year but I don't know yet but here I use this little bird here's what I did with that oopsie is that there's a little bird here but I didn't want to cut it out <laughs> because I still want to use this page and I didn't think I was going to use it in this book so I traced him and I went ahead and colored him in Still have a bunch of little snippets. I colored him in and then I backed him up with a uh, white cardstock and then I used a little Rene Bouquet leaf there that I backed up with another piece of cardstock and I made this little flower here using the leaves from this die set here. I just cut them in multiple pieces there um, and then grouped them together to make a flower. I also used a doily die back here, some little hearts. Uh, I crocheted that little heart and so I went ahead and used it there. And these are also from that same die collection. Um, here's a little piece of applique that I placed little diamond dots on. And then here I just did a simple oval frame there and I did color the edge to match the page. And then added the little dots around here. This next page here has the little teacup, and that is also from the same stamp, is it? Yes, it's from the same stamp that has the little teacup there and the jar. So I went ahead and stamped those. I did use vellum on some of these pieces so that I could layer it and make it look like glass or frosted glass. There's another little butterfly, and then this little bird here I did cut out with um, a die set from CC Design and it looks like that, not very pretty in the package, but I did cut it out of fabric as well as cardstock and then I did hand stitch it just on the border so that it would have that little thread around it and then here I added the little um, tag there with a Tonic Studios dies and then I cut out two little tags from the um, paper using a Daisy May design die that looks like this. They just fell out of the package, but it's the smallest one in that set. It does come with more. They just totally fell out right now. Um, and then back here, what you're seeing is um, I used a die that I have that cuts out a stitched circle and I cut out some fabric that I had and I layered it onto paper and so you can see up close, maybe not in the video, but you can touch it and it, you can tell that it's fabric. 
Then the next page here has this little, um, I guess, I don't know, ephemera that I made. Um, here's another piece here. Now these, I keep referring to doilies. They're these from Momenta. So I did cut those out. And then I also cut out this one with another Tonic Studios uh, designer series die. So these labels I cut out using the labels that I recently hauled here from Sizzix. Um, that's number 665388. So I just cut out pieces of the paper. And then these little butterflies are all from Tonic Studios, different collections that I have. And then I also went ahead and placed the rest of that fabric there. And behind here, this is just a tuck, like a pocket. And there are two tags here that I cut out with another Tonic Studios die. And this one I put a little piece of twine on just to make it look rustic. Um, and that little hummingbird is from Renee Bouquet's. Then the next one here is this adorable little bunny. I thought it played well with the collection since it's a garden collection. And he is, I got this last year from Tuesday morning. It's a Momenta stamp and there's the little bunny here. I've also used the nest and this sprig here. Um, and you'll see that in a minute. But here's the bunny there, and I cut out the, these little tag pieces with Tonic Studios dies, and it's, I wrote uh, Love Grows here. Then I added the little Renee Bouquet butterfly there, and then this back panel piece here, I cut out using some Tonic Studios dies. I layered it, the paper, with vellum, and then added the little diamond dots, and then here's the oval frame that I've added using the paper collection there. Then over here on this page, I've made this little cluster using an older die that I have in my stash, the paper collection, and then again, those Sizzix dies. And I also use some Tim Holtz little flower dies that I have. Um, and there's that little sprig that I stamped out and I also put Nuvo drops on it so it would shine. And that opens up like so, and it's got some little tags here. Here's one. A second one that I did put a little bra or eyelet on and then a third one there that I can put a picture on a little piece of paper there so those fit they took in quite nicely there so I like that and then last but not least my final page I just did a little pocket here on the corner so I cut the doily adhered it to the edge and that's where I created my little cluster there with a little nest that I stamped out and colored. Two more little jars and pair of scissors that I also stamped and colored there. And I heat embossed. And then little flowers that I added, more little gems. And then here, my friend Vicky had given me one of these little envelopes. Um, so I covered it with uh, pieces of paper from the paper collection to resemble almost like a little um, booklet. And then here I added a clip from Tonic Studios that's a little dragonfly. And on the inside I created two little tuck spots by just adhering them on the corner. And this opens up on the side so that if I wanna press some flowers, I can press them inside of this and tuck them into my little book. And I did distress the edges of that. So that is the end of my little mini album that I made this week. I also made, um, for a different challenge, having nothing to do with this, <laughs> I made this little mailbox, but I figured you guys might want to see it. This was made with Tonic Studios dies and also um, Tonic Studios card cardstock, heavy cardstock. And I thought that came out really cute and I totally bedazzled. <laughs> <laughs> that to the hilt. So yeah, uh, that's about it. I think that's all I have to share. I spent a lot of time on this, if you can imagine. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you've liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. And as I always say, I hope that you can be inspired and be blessed. And I thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.